What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing Leroy. We're going to be talking about the first time Leroy went on a big tweeting spree yesterday. We're going to dive into all that. Before we do start though, I know that 47% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed and we're on the road to 50k. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe. It help out the channel a lot. And with that being said, let's get started. Shout out to my homie, the Kid Leroy Hub. Link to their Instagram will be in the description down below. They literally make all these videos so easy, but we're going to start with with yesterday Leroy responded to Leroy Talks and another Kid Leroy fan page by saying that he loves the first time. It's his best body of work so far and by far his favorite to listen to. He said he's actually proud of it for once. Leroy mentioned this not that long ago how he feels like he's actually making music he enjoys so that does have me pretty hyped for the album. But now we're getting into what he had to say about the album itself. He started off by saying now I've locked in and I'm actually focused on finishing and crafting the project. Everything became so much more more clear. I always have a hard time finishing shit and I'm super hard on myself so I guess that mixed with behind the scenes stuff it's taken so long so again I'm sorry. And then Leroy Hub said could we get any news on the next single where Leroy said just waiting on dates to shoot the video. Once that's done I will have more info. Don't want to give y'all a date or anything right now and mislead or misinform y'all but I'm on it. Now I think Leroy could be talking about a couple of things. One he could definitely be talking about what just happened. That's what he said he was going to do with that song was film the video but then Leroy Hub put in their caption that he could easily be talking about Love Again. That's the song that he's filming the music video for. And that could be very true as well because Leroy's been previewing that song a lot lately. Moving on, Leroy said, I'm going to talk to the label, but I want to do 10 songs on each side of the album. So 20 in total, but side A comes first and then side B maybe a month or two after. Then he says, the reason for that is I want to drop a lot of music since I've been away for so long, but I want you guys to be able to digest it properly and not be overloaded with 20 songs all at once. I always like projects that are smaller or broken up. This is pretty obvious for the fact that Leroy dropped all three F loves in different parts, but now it's more of a full project if you listen to it. Leroy says, first side of the album is so close to being finished. Been working literally every single day for the past month to make sure it finally gets done and released. Sorry for all the tweets, but now that that's coming together, I'm getting super hyped. He then says, honest question, do you guys want to see a lot of features on the album or keep it limited. At the moment, there's only one feature, but that could definitely change between now and the release date. I think this could mean a few things. If there's only one feature on this album, that changes a lot because that probably means this whole album is different than what we thought it would be. If you remember, there's a Leroy and Don song that we thought could be on this album. There's also Rich Boy with Nardo Wick. There was the possibility of Ian being on What Just Happened. There was also possibilities of Post Malone being featured on Leroy's album. But if there's only going to be one feature, on here and granted he does say that could change but that tells me that there's gonna be a lot of different songs on this album than we originally expected after that Leroy just goes on to say just talk to Ron head of my label and we're meeting on Wednesday and I'll be playing him the first side of the album I know that that's a lot to unpack so just to kind of sum this up it sounds like Leroy has finished or is just about finished with side a of the first time we already know that it's gonna be split into two different parts he confirmed each side will have 10 songs on it so a 20 song album in full and we should be getting side a most likely early 2023 and then he said a month or two later we'll get side b there's also only one feature on the album as of right now we don't know who it is but we do know that the next single or i guess the first single because thousand miles isn't even on the album should be getting its music video shot soon and releasing soon i would honestly expect this lead single if it doesn't come this month it's either going to come very late december or just early 2023. That's just a prediction I'm thinking of. But man, this is something that we've been needing from Leroy. I literally just made a video talking about how he's not really communicating that much. I honestly was critiquing him a lot in the last video saying how he was kind of acting like Ian by just ghosting us and not really saying anything. And boy, did he turn that around. With all this being said though, are you guys still hyped for Leroy's album? It sounds like it's a complete different project than what we were expecting. So let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, drop a sub leave a like. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.